Nureyev already in, in stall one. Philippe Paquet patting this little horse on the neck, looking very calm, the horse, and uh, as indeed is Philippe. Night alert there. That's Steve Cawthon, 20 years old on Thursday, Steve. A remarkable phenomenon he is. He won the 2,000 guineas at the first time of asking on tap on wood, and he has a really premier chance here on St. Jonathan, who will be going up into stall 12. Really handsome horse, St. Jonathan, unbeaten in his three runs. Standing there quite calmly. And uh, going up to be loaded. That's Torfan going up with John Reed. Torfan going up. So they're just a gut all going to be loaded. There's the world leader up on the outside. Let's go and join John Penny. And uh, so we're waiting for St. Jonathan, the man of Steve Corson to go in. He will be the last of 14 to be installed. And uh, waiting for the handlers to come in. I think they're all in now. They're under Sada's orders. And they're off and they're out to a pretty level break except for Starway who dwelt a bit. But highest bidder is the first gone from Turnabos. Then comes St. Jonathan on the far side with Wit. Final straw. Then comes Brawfing. And in the early stages, the favourite, uh, that is Norea, is absolutely stone last. So they're going to furlong. His highest bidder in the lead from St. Jonathan on the far side. Turnabos. Then comes final straw. World leader up with the leaders. And still at the rear of the field is Night Alert and finally Norea. And so they're coming now towards the five furlong mark. The highest bidder is still the leader from St. Jonathan. Turn of us, then comes Final Straw, and just behind Final Straw is World Leader. And still the last two is Night Alert and Nureyev now going up through the field. He's about in the middle of the pack. With that order, it's back to Rawley Gilbert. Yes, Philippe Paquet is making a bit of a move now on Nureyev, but it's still the highest bidder who's made most of the running so far out in front. St. Jonathan very close in second, and World Leader coming strongly on the outside third. Right there with them two are both uh, Turn of us and Final Straw. As they pass halfway in the 2,000 guineas, and it's still highest bidder out in front turn of us is second Torfan and St. Jonathan are the next two then comes known fact followed by Wid and Brawfing as they pass the three furlong marker and still a pretty open looking guineas Nureyev is starting a super looking run on the outside look at that white blaze he's really motoring now as they pass the bushes and go down into the dip and it's now Nureyev who's gone storming into the lead Nureyev from Torfan and known fact Night Alert is coming with a late run so is Starway and Swift Image but it's the fa favorite Nureyev being pressed up by known fact on the near side, not a lot between these two. Known fact in front is getting up, and Posse is third, and it's known fact and Nureyev together. Nureyev just going on again, racing up towards life. Nureyev just wins the guineas. Known fact second, Posse third. Four night alert, five star ways, six go swift image, then turn of us, and highest better followed in by final call. Last in the end was world leader. World leader, the horse who flattered about three furlongs out, in the end finished plump last. But a terrific finish. A photo it is, in fact to determine the outcome of the 1980 2000 guineas but the uh, anti-post layers have no doubt at all that uh, Nureyev has prevailed and in fact uh, the quotes are really flooding in about him for the derby they were obviously pretty impressed and uh, uh, Ladbrokes in fact offer only nine to two about him for the derby Coral six to one uh, William Hill sevens and uh, uh, Mecca have just given me a quote of six to one well uh, the bookmaker's impressed. We still don't know whether he's won it or not because the judge, Michael Hancock, has yet to announce his verdict. The photo between Nureyev, this uh, so far unbeaten horse, uh, with uh, on the near side finishing fast. I forget what it was now in the heat of the moment. Bruff, no doubt, will uh, uh, help sort me out on that one when we come to it. But. Uh, uh, I have absolutely no doubt that it was Nureyev. A very, very exciting thing, a very close thing to the 1980 guineas, and of course we're going to relive it all again now, the last two furlongs at any rate, and now here's Bruff with the rerun. And Nureyev, he certainly showed a brilliant, brilliant turn of foot coming from right the back of the pack, but he has, uh, in a race for the first time, when he's really had to be asked, he's come through, he's hung a bit out to the right there, out to the right towards Night Alert. St. Johnson's in the centre, closest to us is Torfin, trying to come down the hill, then Known Fact with the, with the noseband, and Turnavos right along the rail. Nureyev, he certainly had the legs of them here, he went clear. To me, I'm not at all convinced he actually got home that well. The, seven, the one mile may be quite as far as he likes to go, because he's now a length and a half up on known fact and posse's coming after him so so is starway and night alert out on the outside but uh, known fact comes at him very very fast here in fact uh, just about goes ahead but to uh, can battle as well and under strong driving he seems to find enough posse's there strongly in third as they race up towards the line i certainly think he's done enough to 
win it. As they go up to the line, Nureyev wins it from known fact and posse. And uh, just how good a guineas it is, well, they've gone well clear of the others, which is a very good sign. But uh, it's not the performance of a super champion, just of a very, very good horse. Yes, Nureyev, whose number is still to be called, but surely he is the winner. And if so, he'd be the first French horse, in fact, to win the guineas since Nonoelco in 1974. Nonoelco also trained by Francois Bouton. His number has been called, he is the winner of the guineas, so he remains unbeaten, this colt by Northern Dancer, the sire of Nijinsky, who took this classic on the way to becoming the last Triple Crown winner. That was exactly 10 years ago. In fact, Nureyev is only the second favorite to win in the last seven years. The last three winners, in fact, have all started at 20 to one or more. The full result, in fact, of the guineas now going up in the frame. It's a win for number seven, Nureyev, owned by Mr. Stavros Niarkos, trained at La Mole in France by Francois Boutin and ridden by Philippe Paquet. Second was number four, known fact, owned by Mr. Khalid Abdullah, trained by Jeremy Tree, ridden by Willie Carson. Third was number eight, Posse, owned by Mr. Ogden Millsphipps, trained by John Dunlop and ridden by Pat Eddery. The margins were a neck and three quarts of a length. And fourth home was number six, Night Alert, owned by Mr. Robert Sangster, trained by Vincent O'Brien and ridden by Lester Piggott. Well, there's the winner, the last of the three coming back in the cross belts. And while we watch him come back, we can in fact now see again how he won, this time taken from a head-on camera angle. Now, there has been a steward's inquiry called, so this is pretty crucial. And Nureyev, with a white face and a white cap, he certainly comes across a lot. You'll, you can see him you're looking head on. He comes across. Does he interfere with anything badly enough to lose the race? He's coming across. Known fact is the white sleeves over on the far right. And uh, Posse is coming through. Posse, in fact, would seem to go into tow fire at that stage. Whether no, no, it's hard to see how far ahead, uh, um, not, how far ahead Nureyev was. But does he take Posse's ground now? Well, he's about a length and a half ahead of him. He's coming in uh, all the time. Posse hasn't got a lot of room to go for at this stage, but uh, he's, got, he's got a gap now. As they're coming straight towards us, well, it certainly looks as if he's got enough room there. If there was interference and problems, it was, to me, it was about two furlongs, two furlongs back when there's no doubt that Nureyev uh, came in quite a bit when Philippe Paquet first asked him. But uh, it also looked as if... Uh, Tofa and uh, Posse had perhaps a bit of a barging match when they uh, first were trying to go. There's Mr. Niarkos uh, patting his, uh, his champion. Champion he certainly is now, but just how much of a champion? Well, that's uh, slightly open to question in my mind. He's won it like a really good, uh, really able and really brave horse above all. But he didn't, uh, he didn't come away in the style that you uh, would hope a Brigadier Gerard and Nijinsky did. But uh, he's got other races ahead of him, notably the Derby, whether he actually stays the extra half mile of the Derby. Well, again, that is, in my opinion, slightly open to question because he had the legs of them, but uh, he then uh, had to really fight to get home against a known fact and posse. There he is, and Gerard Fabian, the travelling head lad of uh, the Francois Boutot stable, who had a terrible kick in the head from a horse at Longchamp uh, three years ago, and uh, was in absolutely critical list, and he, with the fuzzy hair there, he's made a marvellous uh, comeback to health. He had all sorts of treatment. He's come back, and uh, here he is now with uh, another classic winner. One million three hundred thousand dollars as a yearling, and that, believe it or not, was a bargain because in today's terms, he must be worth ten times as much as that. That little horse there is worth over ten million dollars, and that's for certain. To Stavros Niarkos, to whom I suppose uh, you can, in all corn, say it is but a drop in the ocean, but uh, he's got a champion, the best horse, certainly he's ever owned and we can now uh, give you the SP from John Tyrrell. Thank you, Brian. First number seven, Nureyev, 13 to eight favorite. The second number four, known fact, 14 to one. And third number eight, Posse, 12 to one, 14 rand. 